This first one is a house owned by a guy called Robert Braids, who wrote I, Claudius, amongst other things, very famous British poet. And um, he was in the First World War and started writing poetry and then went here, found this place on um, in Mallorca, up near Dea, uh, just outside of Dea, wonderful village high up in the hills overlooking the sea, absolutely beautiful. And we, Susan and I went in there and had a look around. Really good, really interesting. Lots of see the studio where he worked and everything. I'm doing this because it looks really sort of complicated and I want to show that it doesn't have to be. I think one of the things that's, in, it's just shapes. Watercolour is just shapes at the end of the day. It's not, and you want, you want to get some freedom and freshness going and you, and, and, and it's sort of moving away from trying to, from precision. But if you feel, if I can get you to feel confident by technique, it means that when you do go abroad or, or, or in this country or painting plein air, you can sort of go with a bit of confidence. And one of the things to do is to pick out some real pinch points. I think certainly this chimney sticking up into the blue, we want to paint that in the negative because we need a nice strong blue, don't we, here? how far do we come down? Not too far. Um, we might, normally we'd paint a pale blue first and then just go over the top of it, but that might be too dark. I don't know. These shadows are obviously pretty important. Um, and also this little sort of whatever it is, this little rise and fall of this little fountain. It's quite nice. There's some nice little delicate bit of orange where these pots are. And you've got the nice cool blue and you've got the warmth of the building. Uh, maybe add a little bit of negative painting here and there. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll see how it goes.
Join me on Zoom to learn all the watercolour secrets.